Hey, what's up guys, Cyfox back here, and today we're going to be looking at the features of the Xbox Series 2 Elite controller, and seeing if they're worth it for Rocket League. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll quickly go and give you my setup that I use for Rocket League. Okay, one second. I'll show you my setup that I use for Rocket League. Right now, I was just displaying it, how it displays it on the box. How it does on the box. Yep. It's just... Oh my god, I'm trying to get the camera set up. Alright, that's good. Okay, and I'll just show you how I... My setup is. And I'm getting it. And boom. And uh, yeah. One second. Uh oh my god, this is taking forever. Forever. Forever, forever. Why is it taking so long? Oh, it's not here. Okay. Oh my god, guys. I am so sorry. I am trying to get everything together. And while we're talking, make sure you subscribe. Uh, Watch all my other Rocket League videos and stuff. I'm mostly a Rocket League YouTuber. Some Roblox on the channel. Not too much, but I will start uploading more Roblox on the channel. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, here I said. Uh, yeah. Okay, so look at my setup. It's my setup. So basically, we've got the tall thumbstick. We got that flat 360 thumbstick thing. And for this, we got the loose tension. And for this, we got the tight tension. This is the camera stick, you know. This is the moving stick. And then we got the regular D-pad. I don't really like the feel of the other D-pad. Plus, you don't even need that D-pad. So, yeah. I just like this. But on the regular controller, one second. Regular. Okay. On the regular Xbox One controller, I feel like the D-pad is better. The D-pad is softer, wider. So like this is a loud D-pad and this is a softer D-pad. So yeah. And then um on the back we've got these two paddles. And then these I don't really use. All I use is these uh all the way normal ones, normal ones. I feel like the triggers versus the regular Xbox One controller. I feel like the land, the pushing, when you push it, it's almost the same. You feel the same movement. But I feel like on this, I feel it's mo smoother. While you press it, triggers are the same size, but, but it, I feel like it's smoother on the wheat. And once you go all the way in, there's like a big, I have this for a long time, it's been like, let's say, t two years since I had my Xbox One S. So, yeah. So it has went down over time. So this, I barely really use this. And this is the one that, the landing feels pretty soft. But on this, the landing feels even softer so yeah let's take that aside let's have this yeah if i can find my setup that i want ignore the top you know what you know what you know yeah that's what that's what i'm gonna do okay that's basically it so now we're gonna go over the features and if they're worth it for rocket league so i feel like so, the thumbsticks are definitely worth it for Rocket League, because you have the thumbstick tensions, and yeah, 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 yeah. 
the D-pad, I feel like it's not worth it for Rocket League because D-pad doesn't really do anything. It's just quick chats. So, yeah. And then, uh, buttons are the same as those noisy clicky buttons. I feel like on this controller, it's actually... Noisier. Okay. Has a clickier sound. This has like a bulky sound. Okay. So yeah. That's it. Okay, so and then the uh the uh trigger stops, the hair locks. You don't really need it. Not worth it for Rocket League. The paddles, okay, I'll tell you this. They're the best part about the Elite controller. And they're definitely worth it for Rocket League because you get extra buttons. And to perform more mechanics, you need more buttons. And if you don't like the controller that you have, get a better controller. And for Microsoft itself, so it's not going to have any problems with the Xbox. And I do, I will um, do a gaming setup video pretty soon. And, yeah. So this is worth it for Rocky League overall. So, yeah. And so let's see. Count the things that are worth it. Oh, yeah, the grips. The grips. The grips. We gotta talk about those grips. So they... So they're helpful. They manage sweat so much. Since Rocky League is an intense game, very intense, very, very intense, my palm tends to sweat a lot. I'm just sweaty, but I don't know. I'm a sweaty Rocket League player. I have a sweaty car. I barely even talk in quick chats. Sweaty. So, yeah. And, uh, so they handle sweat so well. That just helps me a lot. Like, this controller, before I got my suit, my Elite controller, I was sweating, and I, one time, a few times, I actually dropped my controller, and I just couldn't grip it the right way. But now on this... I feel like it's a bit better. Way better. So the grips are definitely worth it. For Rocket League. So yeah. So that is grips. Thumbsticks. And paddles. Versus D-pad. And. Um. Triggers. That's it. I'm pretty sure the bumpers. Yep. Never got a different sound, but yeah. So overall, this controller is worth it for Rocket League if you really want to. This is the thing that I use all the time when I play Rocket League, and it's pretty much it. Get this controller if you really like Rocket League, but it's like one hundred eighty dollars. So anyway, guys, that is a wrap for today's video. Make sure you let's. Hit that uh, subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and just hit that like button. And yeah, bye. Yeah. Peace.